Welcome back to our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. My name's Larry. Well, I got up early this morning, as I often do, and headed out to the shop to try to get a jump start on a little project that I'm doing for a dealer friend of ours, which basically just involves re-gluing uh, four chairs that have uh, come apart uh, from age and use. And I had no intention of filming the video on it because it's stuff we've done before. But then I found a problem and I thought I would share it with you. Now I filmed this this morning and I was <laughs> I hadn't either showered or dressed so please excuse the fat old man in tattered rags with unkempt hair but I wanted to show you how I handled uh, this issue which was basically a screw that had broke off inside a joint of a chair and uh, I'll show you then how I re -glued the chairs, fix some broken dowels and I'll bring you back when we get around to patching the holes from the screws and trying to color match them a little better to the, to the backs of the chairs. So, here we go! And we've got a set of four of these mid-century modern chairs. I believe they're in walnut. And the joints are all loose on them. And I've been asked if I can fix them. And of course we can. We'll just knock the chairs apart, clean the glue joints apart, clean the glue joints out, and then uh, clamp and re-glue the chairs. So we started with the first one. First thing we did here is obviously take the seat off and then we flipped it over to start working on it. And you can see that here is the offending, one of the offending joints and there's a big hole here. Well, that's where someone put in this, what is it, two or two and a half inch screw to hold the joint together. Well, we know that's not the way to do it, but that's this one screw that came out. So then I went to the other joint and this is what I found. We have a two and a half inch screw that is snapped off clean flush with the back of the chair and it runs all the way through this joint and this joint is loose. So we have to get this screw out of there. Now I had a viewer comment a while ago and I'm sorry I don't remember who it was and he suggested taking a roll pin and I have this set of roll pins here I bought off Amazon and grinding the tip of it, which I did, chucking it in a drill and running it along the screw to extract it and then we can plug this with a quarter inch uh, dowel if we have to. So we're going to try to uh, run it down just far enough like see if I can grab it with a pair of pliers and if not we're going to run down through it even farther and try to get the screw out. But I can't fix this chair with this broken screw in it. It has to come out. So let's see how we do. See if we can get a pair of pliers on there and grab that. I'm not, I'm not a, too enthused that we're going to be able to get that out because these screws were in pretty tight. But let's let's give it a try before we drill any farther. It's turning. Now, if we just don't snap it off. It's starting to deform on us, but I think we're going to get this. Okay, to get a, to get the original grip, I use this pair of pliers that was recommended by my viewer. Uh, Gary Moore out in uh, out in Oregon, and these this is the brand that he suggested. They're screw pliers, and they have a special grew or specially carved tip that helps grip on. They've been hand the second time I've used them. I've got enough out of here. I'm going to put a vice grip on this and see if we can work this out. We got it. One of the one of the nicest things about the channel, 
have been the viewer suggestions and I've learned so much. I've always said if you go to bed as smart as you were when you woke up, you wasted a day. And uh, Gary suggested on the pliers and the other viewer, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, uh, on the sharpened roll pin enabled us to get this very difficult situation resolved. So to my viewers that have contributed positively to the channel, thank you very much. All right, let me get on with the rest of this project. All right, right now it looks like the loose join is just where the back upright uh, intersects the rails. So let's get that joint knocked apart and, re and reattach it. Okay, you can see the joint uh, on this side. We have a dowel. There's the hole where the screw came in, and the other dowel is on the other piece. And over here we have the hole where the screw came in, and of course one of the dowels is snapped right off and snapped off here too. So we got to get these drilled out. That's the next step. The way I handle these is, and you've seen me do it before, I just level off whatever broken pieces that we have with what's with the chair with a sharp chisel and I take a center punch or similar tool start a hole and we start to drill the material now we got to be real careful we don't drill all the way through this piece so I'm going to take a second here and put a piece of tape on there just to make sure I don't get carried away. Not that I've ever done anything stupid like that. I've done something stupid like that. And I imagine this is probably a 3 8 hole without measuring it. So bring it right up to the size below 3 8 and then scrape the rest of it out. Okay, we've got our drilled out. Got to repeat on this piece here, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, our holes drilled out. Here's a 3 8 dowel pin. It slides right in. So I'm going to scrape this glue off these joints, glue this dowel pin in. I've checked the other dowel pins. They're tight. And then once I get this all scraped off, we'll get some glue on here, and we will re-glue this joint and set this chair aside. And I'm just using a razor blade to scrape the glue off. And you can heat it up, you can uh, use a scraper, you can use a chisel held like this and scrape it off. Whatever it takes to get the glue off of the surface. After about 10 minutes of scraping, we've got as much of this glue off as we can. We're, we're going to have a good glue surface here. Something to note on the other side, if you can see, you see that line right there? At one time, this had split right across the dowel hole and down this other side and it's been glued back together. You can see the crack line, I hope, right there and right across the right across the dowel hole. Okay, let's get this glued up. Okay, there's our repair joint. You can see we've got great glue squeeze out all the way around. Same thing over there. I'll get a damp rag and get that wiped off. Then once this glue sets up, 
we'll get to work uh, doing the touch-ups on the back where the screw holes and bangs and dings are, but structurally it's back together. Okay, all the loose joints have been taken care of on all four chairs. And they're clamped up, drying. And we're back on the mid-century chairs. Just in case you hadn't noticed, the video on the mid-century chairs is being filmed at the same time I'm shooting the video on the Little Oak Secretary. And I'm going back and forth between the two projects. And it's kind of hectic because of it. And we're a little tight on space. But anyways, the chairs have had about six hours for the glue to set up. They are rock solid. I'm real happy with the repairs. So now we've got these darn screw holes that we have to plug. When I plug uh, holes in furniture that's going to have to get color matched, what I try to do is aim for the fill to be the lightest color in the background. And you can see here this fill color is pretty close. And once we get that in there, then all we're going to have to do is just put some lines in. So this is um, just Mohawk's epoxy putty. You've seen me use this a thousand times before. And I'll get it mixed up, get it uh, stuffed in these holes, and once it sets up, we will put a little color on it. So here we go. And what I do is I jam this stuff in there pretty good and then over, overfill the hole just a little bit. And I'll come back as it starts to set up and scrape it as close to flush as I can. You know, if you're a little bit low, you're going to have to uh, put another coat, you know, another application on. And if you're a little bit high, you're just going to either have to sand it or scrape it off. So it's better to be a little bit high. Okay, I've got that chair and this one to do, and then two more, so let me get at it. And if you remember from some of the other videos, you can wet this product and it helps it. Alright, if I can get this shot for you, I should win the Cecil B. DeMille Award because this is really difficult. I can't get the, the uh, tripod in here close enough. But I've got a brush tip graining marker and I'm just touching out Now the camera battery died, but I wanted to show you how I, I touch the color out on these. First thing I do is I come in with a light color. And what I'm also doing here is taking care of some of the, the scratches and damage. I'm rubbing that in. But we come in with a light, the lighter color. And then I grab some of the darker color. You can see this one here, it's done. That one here you can hardly see. But there you go. Okay, here's where uh, our repairs were. They came out pretty good. And we're ready to uh, top coat them. I need to do a little uh, touch up here where the color got on the... If you look right here real close so you can see where the color got on this little decorative black spot. So I'll wipe that off with a little bit of uh, the toner the uh, shellac base, it'll take it right off and then we will uh, spray some lacquer on these. This would normally be a job for the aerosol can but I've got the lacquer gun set up from a little secretary project so I'm just going to spray the lacquer on with this. That's about it. Let me get the other two chairs and I'll bring you back. Well, here are the chairs. They're all done. I was hired to fix those legs, and uh, I decided to plug those screw holes as a courtesy. I wasn't uh, hired or expected to clean these chairs up. They've got uh, paint splatters on them and, and marks. They, the finish needs a little touch-up work, but uh, the owner can take care of that. Uh, these chairs win the award for the worst upholstery ever.
We have dogs in the library, which is a very mid-century design, as I'm sure you you all know. I probably hear about it from the dog lovers in the crowd. But and we'll turn a couple of these chairs around, and you can see our repairs came out pretty well. Looking good. Well, anyways. <laughs> What a day this has been. From our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. Best regards. Thanks for watching. Take good care. We'll see you next video. And remember, it's just wood, color, and some shiny stuff. Thanks for watching. Take care.